Here is a common example of a static equilibrium problem. The usual steps for solving static equilibrium problems are read the problem, draw the free body diagram, set up Newton's second law, and apply static equilibrium conditions for both torque and forces, convert between Cartesian and polar coordinates as needed, then check your answer by rereading the problem and looking at your free body diagram. In this example, a shop sign is hanging from a beam that is attached to a wall at its hinge and is supported by a cable. Read the problem. For static equilibrium, pay attention to forces, where they are applied, and their direction. Note what is being asked for. Draw the free body diagram as if it was a single object. Pay attention where the forces apply. One trick to use for unknown forces is to treat them as two forces which are its components. Set up your coordinate system and choose your pivot wisely to simplify later calculations. For the torque part of static equilibrium, you will need to recalculate some of the angles with respect to your declared coordinate system. Declare static equilibrium for torque. Express in variables and solve for the unknown. Plug in with units and be very careful in applying signs. Return to your diagram and now recalculate force components as if this was a standard force problem. Apply static equilibrium in the X and Y directions 
to solve for the unknown forces. Convert back to polar coordinates and be sure to check the quadrant of the angles. Reread the problem to make sure you have answered all questions in a sensible way. You can practice some more by placing the sign and the cable at different points on the beam and even changing the angle of the beam itself.